A single web page that summarizes all of your social media links is a great way to share with your peers and colleagues. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you could build one using the Streamlit library. Particularly, we're going to use the template on GitHub that we will deploy to the internet using Streamlit Cloud. And all of this for free. And without further ado, we're starting right now. And so this is the links page that we're going to build today. And as you can see here, the profile image is provided here. The name to the profile page is provided here. A short description about you and what you do is here. And then a series of buttons are provided here that will link to various social media platforms such as your YouTube channel, your blog post, your Twitter account, your LinkedIn page, newsletter, or your Buy Me A Coffee link. And without further delay, let's have a look. And so the first thing here is that you want to go to this links page and I'll provide you this in the video description. And the URL to this is github.com slash data professor slash links. And so instructions for deploying it is written here. You could follow along in the written form here, or you could follow along by watching this tutorial video. So first thing is you need to clone this into your own GitHub account. So you want to click on the use this template button. Then you want to give it a name, the name for the repository. So anything aside from your username, like for example, if my username is data professor, I cannot put in the name here to be data professor. So this won't work, but you could make it like data professor page. This will work and we'll make it public and the owner, you select your own account and then click on the create repository from template. Wait a short moment. And now you want to customize some of the information of the app. So you could go to the streamlit app.py, click on here, the edit button on GitHub, and you want to customize the name here. For example, if your name is John Doe, and let's see, let me make this a developer and YouTuber. You could customize this to other size, like 22 and, you know, and then you'll customize all of the links here as well, the URL and also the text on the buttons. So I just leave it as is first, click on commit changes and that's it. And you're ready to go and head over to Streamlit Cloud. You could go to streamlit.io slash cloud and it's a free sign up to use this community cloud. So you could sign up here. But as I have already signed up, it will lock me in. So you could use your own Gmail account or your GitHub account to sign in using SSO. And once you're logged in to your Streamlit Cloud account, you could click on the new app. And then you want to click on the repository that you've just cloned. So it's data professor dash page. And here we'll leave it as default and you want to click on deploy. And that's it. And then you'll sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee and wait a short moment. And it's in the oven. You could click here to expand and see the image and see the log messages here. All right, there you go. And you can see that the custom name is displayed. John Doe, developer and YouTuber and the links. And it is mobile friendly and you could adjust the width of the page and it'll display properly. And you could customize the colors on this particular page as well. Let me show you. You could head over back to the main page of the repo, click on the dot streamlet, go to the config.toml, click the edits, and you can make it other colors, like we'll make it into gray color, save it, Head over back, and then you'll notice it has this gray color. Wait a short moment as it is reloaded, and there you go. It's a gray color. But the point of note here is that when the background changes color to gray, you also have to make your image also transparent here as well. This color could be modified to other color. Just head over to HTML color code, and you could choose a light color. 
or a dark color if you like. So let me select a, how about this pinkish color? Save it. And wait a short moment as it is being updated. All right, there you go. It changes to a pinkish color. And feel free to modify your profile image to be transparent right here. And you're all set. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And for a deeper dive into the tutorial, you want to check out the line by line explanation provided on the Data Professor YouTube channel. And so congratulations, you built your very own links page using the Streamlit template. And happy Streamlitting!